Superman is the most powerful, but also the most vulnerable superhero you can imagine. He's an incredibly conflicted, lonely, and lost person. It's a timeless story. Superman is a story for everybody. It's going to be intense, visceral, really exciting to watch. We need champions, and we need someone to believe in. It's about the potential for every person to be a force for good. We have to believe that somebody can make things right. From the first time I could ever remember, Superman was one of the people I wanted to be. Chris Nolan was working with David Goyer on the story for The Dark Knight Rises. David started talking to him about this idea that he had about reimagining Superman. Our approach was not a comic book Superman. It was just to do a more realistic Superman, a Superman that exists in a real world. One more, just like that, right. I remember I said to Zach, I don't know how you do this. I don't know how you take this character and modernize him and make him cool to a modern audience and they pitched their ideas and we were like wow they figured it out what chris and david did was let's let the audience participate in the experience of being superman without breaking the things that make him superman they were able to sort of make him relatable ground him and make him feel real not bad the holy grail of the rehearsal is still out there <laughs> oh. Working with Zach is great. His energy is always up. As much as the hours are extremely long, Zach keeps stuff interesting. Zach is very detail-oriented. He never misses anything. He just has a really strong idea of the story, and he has a really strong idea of character. Zach knows exactly what he's looking for, and he knows when he has it, and that gives you a certain amount of confidence. He'll turn, and then you just press, press on. One really interesting thing with Zach, he's probably chosen the hardest possible way by making it, for the most part, a single camera. You don't work on movies of this scale with a single camera. Even though we're walking around and making shots, the frame is always being analyzed and refined as we go. Boom, come on. He wanted to give the film this feeling that even though we're dealing with a superhero, this could be going on, or maybe it could happen tomorrow. We tried to land Superman in America. It was really important to ground him in a reality that we can understand. This story is a very realistic mirror. It's a 2012, 2013 world. We wanted to have real places. We didn't want Superman to crash into a fictitious location. We wanted everything to feel as real as possible. There are ways into the story through that contemporary world. There's a real connection for the audience to understand this is our contemporary condition. The most minute little detail all the way to the biggest, broadest concept, all of it gets the same attention. It really makes the movie deeper and more interesting on every level. 